Welcome back, everybody. A caramel macchiato. Probably one of my favorite caffeinated beverages. But the funny thing is, caffeine doesn't affect me. I could literally drink five of these and then go take a nap. Like I would ever do that. Yeah, it's kind of weird. This drink is amazing. The first few sips though are just a pure espresso. So they're really strong and not that tasty, which kind of makes people not want to drink it. But the more you drink, the tastier and sweeter it gets. Kind of reminds me of something. Ah, yes, Twilight Princess. Fun fact about me, I have never actually played Twilight Princess. I don't have a Wii U for the remake, I can just never find a GameCube or Wii copy. Fortunately, I'm more of a Link Between Worlds guy. You get to transform into a painting, who doesn't love that? But as far as I know, the introduction and prologue is so long and tedious. But the game gets so much better as time progresses. And you can take that as a fact because I know my stuff about Zelda. This gives me the perfect idea. What if we take random objects and associate them with a certain food? This can get really controversial, but it's a fantastic idea. Now, what should we start with? Ooh, computers. Ah, computers. What a great way of saying F you, Stone Age. Let's face it, everybody had some sort of experience with a computer over the past years. And these things are very versatile. Some are expensive, some are cheap, but they all suit certain people's needs. Like not everybody needs a pro gaming PC. And not all people who want to check their emails need all the processing power to run Psychonauts 2. There's just a computer for everybody. Hmm, something that varies in price and is very different from one another. Cheese. Am I the first person in the world to actually consider computers and cheese to be similar? Yeah, probably, that sounds about right. But just hear me out. We've got Rogue River on one end over here, and we've got Craft Singles on the other end, with hundreds in between. See? Logic. Next up, we have It Takes Two. The thriller hit 3D platform of the decade where you are mandated to have another person play it with you. I feel really bad for all the lonely people who won't ever be able to experience such a fantastic adventure. This is clearly a milkshake with two straws in it. Not one, it has to be two. Due to this game's the themes of needing to tackle challenges together, splitting chocolate ice creamy goodness is the perfect match for this. Oh, and then you get to fight over the cherry, which is always pretty fun. And is cost effective! Why purchase two milkshakes when you can just split one and make it more romantic? Okay, that one was a perfect match, not gonna lie. But next up, we have Jigglypuff, the balloon Pokemon that sings and makes you fall asleep. Now, what other food can be inflated and make you fall asleep? I would say coffee, but people actually get energized from this. I don't get it. Who else gets exhausted after eating a turkey on Thanksgiving? Oh yeah, everyone. All right, I gotta admit, that was pretty clever. But next up, we have an Amatone. It's a weird Japanese instrument that makes a uh, whenever you touch it. Perfect for making YouTube parody videos. But what type of food would be annoying to listen to someone eat? Okay, we need a food item that makes so much noise when it's eaten. Maybe something crunchy like... like ice. Yeah, you know how obnoxious it is to listen to someone chew on ice. I'm a ton to like ice. I'm gonna say that out of context. Next, we have Spider-Man PS4. A versatile open world game where you get to explore New York City with everyone's friendly middle-aged New Yorker who's been evicted. Now normally this is the perfect opportunity to say pizza time. But that song wasn't a prominent feature in this game, it was just a small little easter egg. So that's not gonna work. So how about... Chicken Fingers? Yeah, these things are pretty versatile, just like the spider himself. They can be dipped in many different types of sauces and be served with almost anything. And have pretty great aerodynamics too. Next on the list, we have Grand Theft Auto. Rockstar's long-running open-world game, which includes a lot of blood, gore, violence, nudity, strong language, drugs, beer. It's gotta be beer. And next down the line, we've got All Might, the world's most idiotic superhero. He literally gave his powers to some random kid on the streets. Who does that? 
Not to mention the fact that he's a horrible teacher that he needs to actually have a teacher's manual on him to teach. Why? So since the so-called number one hero is now scrawny and entirely useless, he's clearly celery. No one likes it, it's weird to chew, and is quite brittle. The Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, on the other hand, is very sturdy and comfortable to hold. So what kind of food would that be? It's gotta be ice cream. It's nice and sturdy and very comfortable to eat. Now AirPods are pretty weird. Everyone loves them and everyone hates them too. They're all the rage and everybody has them. If you're in America, Europe doesn't care about Apple products. These are like chicken sandwiches. They're all the hype, but just a slab of chicken with mayonnaise and pickles. So it's just a bunch of hype for something that really isn't worth fighting for. Rabbit Mario, the perfect balance of Ubisoft's Rabbids, Nintendo's Mario, and good RPG games. Now we need to think of a fantastic combination of three distinct, yet very well blended flavors. Something like the turducken. A chicken, duck, and turkey all in one. Savor all the flavor and don't question the calories. But unfortunately, after you eat a turducken, you're gonna need to get some exercise. Which is generally classified as a vegetable, such as green beans. But then there's Ring Fit Adventure, which is like exercise, but not as painful. Ring Fit Adventure is like getting your green beans at TGI Fridays, deep fried and served for the side of ranch. Ring Fit Adventure took something that a lot of gamers don't quite like, and made it tolerable. Just like how under all the batter, TGI Friday's green beans are still green beans. Shrek Treasure Hunt. It's a Shrek game. It's actually a pretty bad a Shrek game. Um, I kind of have to say onions, don't I? Yeah, raw onions don't taste that good. And this game doesn't play that good, just like how onions taste. I guess it is true that ogres are like onions. They both make you cry. Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt, two of the 80's greatest games on one cartridge. Now since I've already used a turducken previously, we need to think of something different, like a combo meal. Wendy's was the first one that showed up, so let's take it. Vault Boy, the little propagandist who could. This little guy thinks you're special. And I actually never played a Fallout game before because my copy of Fallout 4 is sealed, so... I'll have to give it a food I haven't tried yet. This is actually pretty hard. I've been all around the world and tried different things. Aha! Uh -huh. I never got to experience what it tastes like to chew five gum. Perfect! Scribblenauts Showdown, the game where you can summon anything you want into existence. Except for Sonic. I already tried that. It doesn't work. This is like the Golden Corral. It has every single thing that you could possibly want. It also doesn't have Sonic, so you're good. Super Smash Bros. Brawl, a fighting game that everyone hates to love. It has all your favorite games and modes with a hint of brown. Come on, it has to be soup. What other food has all your favorite things in it and a texture looks like it's from a 2008 video game? Soup. Now lastly, let's compare one last thing. Gex. A 3D platformer that's just beaming with the term 90s. This has fun mechanics and cute areas. It's a pizza. All the toppings you love and enough to share with everybody. But not just any pizza, a 90s pizza. The one similar to the Crash Bandicoot pizzas that they sold at Pizza Hut. Now if only I knew what kind of food I would be. Hello. You are clearly lettuce. It's bland and hard to swallow. Well, that's kind of insulting.